Hey folks, welcome back to the Rock and Sea Homestead. My name is Lance and today we're going to walk you through step by step how we built our galvanized metal raised gardening beds. So, you know, if you've been following us for a while, you know that we are just starting to get into gardening this year and we decided to do some raised beds and we researched and tried to figure out what type of raised beds we wanted and we ended up going with the wood and galvanized metal variety and uh, that's what this is about this is going to take you step by step and of course uh, if if you haven't been following along on our uh, gardening kind of one-on-one learn with us since we're straight up beginners uh, i'll put the uh the card right up here for you guys to take a look at that it's going to step us through the ways that we've been gardening so far and beyond even further in the year so first thing that we're going to do is cut some wood get all that cut out and then we'll get going so this is what the finished product or at least 95 percent finish is going to look like we haven't decided quite what to do with these posts if we're just going to cut them off flush put some lights on them not quite sure uh, we got some boards that go as ledges here uh, but depending on what we do with these it may change that but essentially what we did is we just made kind of a um, two before, you know, two rectangles for the top and bottom. And then we put some galvanized metal on it and we kind of sandwiched it between both, both two befores all the way around. And then we got some bracing in behind it. And then we screwed the metal into the bracing. So it, so it stiffened it up really well. So when we put dirt, it shouldn't bulge out too much. At least that's what we're hoping for. And when we're getting the materials at, at the big box store, one of the ladies I was helping us, she had talked about in her uh, raised garden bed that she put some uh, hardware cloth on the bottom. And you guys can see we did put some hardware cloth on the bottom. So that's so moles or gophers don't get in there and eat your, eat your vegetables. They're going to have a pretty far way to, to dig to get up to the vegetables, I think. But just to safeguard it, uh, this is what we're doing. So for sure, one other thing that we're gonna add to this, and we just haven't done it yet, but we're gonna put some trim pieces over the corner, kind of do a butt joint or something against it, because these are pretty sharp where we cut them, and that's just gonna make it look a little bit better, and it's gonna keep us from cutting ourselves or any of those kind of things. Hopefully the second one will turn out just as good as the first one. All right, so the first step's gonna be is cutting the wood for the, the bottom section and the top section. And essentially the we have a four by four post, and we're gonna cut those in four equal lengths, which is gonna be three feet. This is a 12 feet uh, treated wood. I know some people don't use treated wood, but we did just because of the like, the weather we have here in Oklahoma. It's hot and humid, and, and it just it wouldn't last very long out of here. And we really want this to last at least three to five years. Uh, it's a lot of investment, and, and it takes a lot of time to get it done. So. So with this, we're gonna cut this, like I said, every three feet. And then on the two befores, 12 foot two befores, we're gonna cut those in an eight foot section and then in a three foot section. So the beds are eight foot long and three foot wide. All right, so we got all the wood cut. Now we're just gonna trim up this uh, metal. Same measurements, eight foot and three foot. And as you're watching the video, what we do is we, uh, we have to mark it with a Sharpie because your, your construction pencil is not gonna work on the metal. You can't really see it very well. So we have a little bit of a Sharpie that we put on there. We put a straight edge and then we cut it with our new angle grinder and, uh, and it works pretty good. So we're about to do one of the sides 
And just to let you know how it's constructed here, she can zoom in here on the corner here. So we have a three foot four by four right here. And then we have a two by four that's gonna level up on both sides. And then we have the metal set to where that first little lip will be flush in there. And then we'll get a measurement from here to here. We have a measurement, I think it was 20, 22 and three fourths up to this portion. And then we'll put this board across the top and then that will be one side completely done. All right, so now since we have the long sides completed, we just scabbed on a board up here just to keep it from falling over. But essentially what we're gonna do now is make sure that the bottom's all squared up. And then we're just gonna lay this piece of metal in here. Of course we have it. We'll get that all level up and then screw in the bottom and the top plate and we'll be good for the sides. just wanted to bring you guys in closer to show you how I'm screwing these in. First off, I'm using three inch screws with that uh, T25 star head. I tell you, if you don't use these type of screws, you're missing out. They don't stri uh, strip out like or as easy as the uh, Phillips does. They're just awesome. You got to start using these if you don't. But essentially what I'm doing is I'm at least putting two for this board into this 4x4, same one on this one, put it in here to this 4x4, and then I'm sinking two for these two boards to be connected. I don't know if that's overkill or not, but I just want this to be nice and solid and doesn't tweak and torque on it. So, so we have two more steps, at least for today. Uh, we're not counting the trim. That's probably going to be on another day. It doesn't. We're not going to fill these up for another month, so we have a little bit of time to put on the trim on the corners. Just simple trim should be fairly easy but for now what we're going to do is we're going to put the bracing on the inside and i think there was eight so we're going to put three on that side three on this side and then one on each end that's going to cover that and it really stiffens that metal up and it really seems to be pretty good and then we'll take this down and we'll flip it over to the top and roll out some hardware cloth staple it on and then flip it over and i think call it call it a day for today Well, she is complete at this point. Again, like we said earlier, we still got to put on some trim pieces and we got to figure out what we're going to do with this ledge and these posts if we want to cut them off or do some kind of decorative lights on them and then try to cut around the, the boards on top to for the ledge. Not quite for sure yet, but this one's done. We still got two more to make. But again, um, we will put out a, a second video uh, that will that will have everything complete with the trim and what we figured out how to do. We'll do a part two that'll come out probably in a couple weeks. But guys, thanks for coming back and watching our videos. We definitely appreciate it. Hopefully this was worthwhile for you guys. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comments. We'll be glad to answer any of them. And if you have any suggestions for our next two, please let us know. We always like that. And of course, we love the big thumbs up always. 
Hey, and if you haven't already, hey, click that subscribe button. It should be right down here somewhere. And again, if you do that, you got to click the notification bell. But guys, thanks for coming back and watching. From our homestead to yours, have a great evening.